Marble Sports fans! I am Johnny Marble here with the Marble Sports Worldwide News, sponsored by the Marble Hotel. Wherever you roll, we'll be there. Event 14 of Marble League 2021 was the Classic Sand Rally, and it featured some very intense racing. You never really knew who would come out on top as the marbles were constantly swapping positions throughout the race, and even the marble who started in first could end in last. The Rojo Rollers finished 7th in their heat and failed to move on into the finals. And unfortunately for their coach, Rojo Cerro, it was the last straw for the team manager who fired them on the spot. It's unfortunate to see them go after they've supported them for so long, but perhaps this change will lead to better performances for the Rojo Rollers. Only time will tell though. On a more positive note, the final race was something else, as a 4 marble photo finish for second occurred with marbles literally flying over the line. After the analysis by the officials, it was determined that Blue Eye from the Crazy Cat's Eyes came in first, followed by Alpine and the Gliding Glaciers in second, and Shimmer and the Shining Swarm in third. And now for Event 15, soccer, or football depending on where you're from. This event tested the teamwork and precision of the competitors to get the right trajectory for their goal to block their opponents. The Limers gave an especially impressive performance against the Gliding Glaciers with a last second goal to come into overtime, but they ultimately lost out in the end. The Glaciers would continue this momentum all the way into the finals to secure the gold, leaving the Chocolatiers with the silver and the Hazers with the bronze. Only one event remains, and yet 11 teams are still mathematically capable of winning the Marble League. It will be a former champion like the Raspberry Racers, an underdog like Team Momo, or even a rookie team like the Gliding Glaciers. It's truly anyone's game, so you better not miss the final event. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Johnny Marble. You, my dear listeners, have been the best fans in the world. Let's take it on back and continue now with the podcast.